Oh God, thank you, Jesus. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endures to all generations. Oh, praise ye the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise ye the Lord, everybody. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just another day that the Lord has kept us. Oh, he woke us up early this morning and started us on our way. Hallelujah. We're glad to be in the service one more time. One more time. Hallelujah. Didn't have to let us be here. Didn't have to let us live. But he granted us another opportunity to come into his house with thanksgiving and with praise. We thank him on this morning. I say we thank him on this morning. We give honor to God, to the spirit of Christ, to our pastor, Bishop Isaiah Anderson. Thank God for him on this morning. To his wife, praise God, Mother Anderson. Praise God to our sister, Pastor Elder Ricky Furtick and his absent and his wife. Praise God to Minister Scott. Praise God and his wife. Praise God to our guest elder on this morning. Thank God for helping with us on today. To all the praise God, people of God. To all praise God, our mothers, Mother Moore. Praise God, Mother Barnett, Mother Washington. To all the mothers, praise God. To all the saints, praise God, here and online. We just thank God for another day. Come on, put your hands together just one more time and give him the praise. Come on, give him the praise. At this time, we ask all the congregation to stand and we have an opening selection from our choir.
God some praise. Come on and give God some praise. And said, I know the Lord will take care of me. I know the Lord will take care of me. He will lead and guide me all the way. Are you glad about it this morning? Prayer changes things. I say prayer changes things. Oh, we ought to give him some praise. I know the Lord. Whatever your situation is this morning, whatever the problem, I know the Lord will. I said, I know the Lord will. He will take care of me. We thank God for that opening selection from our choir. It's prayer time in the house of the Lord. Men are always a prey. They won't faint, praise God. Let us remember on this morning as we go into prayer. Get your minds on Jesus. Huh? Get your mind on the Lord. Uh, prepare to tell him all about your troubles. Whatever you need, praise God, is in the house. Whatever you want, God's got it. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody. Ask anything in his name. And on this morning, God will do it. Let us pray. Praise God for our pastor, Bishop Isaiah Anderson and his family. Let us pray for our assistant pastor, Elder Ricky Frederick and his family. I'm Elder Palmer. Pray for me. Praise God. Minister Scott and his family. Praise God to all of those that are on our prayer list. We're praying for Deacon Frederick on today. That God will comfort him and give him strength throughout this day and on. In the loss of his loving wife. Praise God. Praise God. Let's pray for the family. We see Brother Owens here. We're praying for him, his sister. In the loss of his sister. We're praying that God will give him strength on today. And all of the family. Praise God. Let us remember all those. Praise God on our prayer list. Praise God. All of those that are online. Praise God. And we believe that prayer, praise God, of the righteous availeth much. We have one here for prayer requests, Ken Franklin in the hospital. Praise God. Let's pray for Ken Franklin on today that God will move in the hospital on this morning. Uh, can, God can do anything. I say God can do anything but fail. So if you're not standing, we ask everyone to stand and we ask our choir for our prayer song at this time.
let us go before the throne with gate grace father in the name of jesus we thank you oh god again oh god for your goodness and your mercy unto us we thank you for another day we never seen before. We thank you for how you watched over as we slept and slumbered through the night. Oh God, we thank you, oh God, for how you put food on our tables, how you clothes on our back, the activity of our limbs, blood running warm in our veins. We thank you for how you protect us and you shield us as we, oh God, travel over the highways and byways. We thank you for this service on the day, oh God. Even as we gather together on today, oh God, let your will be done, oh God. Let your spirit and your anointing rest on us on this morning. Move in a mighty way on this morning, Lord. Oh, God, remember our pastor on today. Touch him, oh, God, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, oh, God. Give him a word for us on this morning, oh, God. Oh, God, look on our minister's staff today. Our visitor minister today, Lord. Look on our deacons, oh, God, our brethren, Lord. Look on our mothers, oh, God. Look on the saints of God on today. Look on our visitors today. Oh, God, those that are online, oh, God. Remember those that are on our prayers, oh, God. Oh, God, we need you. Oh God, every day and every hour we need thee. God, look on this community today. Look on this world and this nation today. Oh God, prayer is needed throughout the land. Remember the body of Christ today, oh God, all over the world, oh God. God, we'll be careful, oh God, how we give your name to praise. We need you, oh God. We need you. Oh God, bless this service. Bless this congregation on the day. We're looking for a mighty move of God, even on today. Bless us throughout this day, even in, as we take, oh God, of the body of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the remembrance, oh God. Oh God, how you died, how you suffer, how you rose again, oh God. God, look on the, oh God, even, oh God, oh God, the funeral on today, the homegoing service. Oh God, remember our dear brother, our deacon on today. Touch him on today. Touch brother Owens on today. Touch the family on today. Oh God, the sick and afflicted that even among us today. Oh God, heal in this service today. Save some souls in this service today. Day. Oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, come on, put your hands together and give God some praise. And we'll be careful how we give your name to praise. Him forth now and forevermore. And all God's people say amen. Amen. Come on, give God some praise. At this time, we have a selection from our choir.
Come on and worship him with me. Come on and worship him. Come on and worship him. In the beauty of holiness. Worship the Lord. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. I'll never know how much it costs. But one day, I say one day, Jesus gave his life uh, that I may have a life to the tree of life. about you but he means everything to me and when I think of all my sins and where he brought me from and how he brought me out of darkness into this marvelous life this great opportunity he given me to be saved hallelujah I've been baptized in Jesus name filled with the Holy Ghost and got a mind to run on and I'm thanking him on this morning I'm thanking him on this morning. One more time, put your hands together and give God the praise. It's a holy church. It's a sanctified church. It's a hand clapping, foot stomping, church of Jesus Christ. And I don't know what you come to do. But if I was you, I'd come to give God the praise on this morning. i come to lift him up. I come to magnify him because he is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy.
declare you ought to praise him today. And I declare you ought to praise him. We got to move on. But I tell you, it's good down in my sanctified soul. And when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my Lord, my soul cries out, hallelujah. My soul cries out, hallelujah. He's been a doctor in the hospital. He's been a lawyer in the courtroom. He's been a mother, a father. When I was lonely, he's been a friend. When I was down and out, he's been a savior. And I owe him the praise. I won't let anybody take my praise, steal my praise. I got to give him praise. When I look around and see what the Lord is doing for me, you got to praise him. I said, you got to praise him. And you shake it off. You make the devil, they got to make him take it back. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him. He healed my body. Oh, he touched me. He saved me. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. He sanctified me. He baptized me with his spirit. I tell you, we don't know when to praise him. We don't know when to praise him. When somebody does something for you, you tell them, thank you. Uh, if I gave you a gift on this morning, you would praise me. But God gave us a gift this morning. He woke us up this morning. He started us on our way to give him the praise. We are his witnesses. If you don't praise him, the rocks will cry out. We thank God for that on this morning. Let us praise God. We have such a busy schedule on a day. But I declare unto you, the Holy Ghost is so real. The Spirit of God is so real. If I'm going to shortcut anything, I'm going to shortcut something else. I ain't going to shortcut my praise. I ain't going to shortcut, hallelujah, God touching me, delivering me. I ain't going to shortcut that. I'm going to give him the praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. We thank God for all things that have gone forth this far. And at this time, we're going to ask Minister Scott if he would come with our scripture reading. And after he come, we're going to ask you to prepare yourself for your offering on this morning and your tithes. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Our scripture reading will be coming from Matthew, the seventh chapter, and we're going to start at the 18th verse. And it reads on this wise, A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. For every tree that brings not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Therefore, Thou fruit, therefore, thou, thou fruit, you shall know them by their fruit. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the, the kingdom of heaven. But he that do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, hallelujah, many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work in iniquity. Therefore, whosoever, whosoever hear these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken unto him a wise man, which builds his house upon a rock. Hallelujah. God looking for a true soldiers. True soldiers. Hallelujah. It's all for time. It's all for time.
We thank you for your giving on this morning. At this time, we will have our announcements coming from our announcement clerk, Sister Jasmine Cooper. Receive her with a hearty amen. Amen. Here in person and virtually. And we also praise the Lord for all of our guests. We will be having our communion service following service this morning. The celebration of life services for Mother Juanita Furtick will be held this afternoon at 3 o'clock. For everyone who has parked in front of the, in the main part of this parking lot, Brother Anderson asks that we please move our cars to make room for the family cars to start arriving. If you have any further questions or concerns, please ask him, Brother Albert Anderson. Tuesday night is Bible class at 7 o'clock, and on Thursday night we'll be having prayer and tarrying service at 7 o'clock. Wednesdays at 10 o'clock prayer is held here at the church. Bishop Anderson will be speaking at Redemption Deliverance Church's convocation on this Saturday, July 8th. Amen. And service will begin at 5 o'clock. We will be having our, fav our 5 o'clock praise and testimony service next Sunday, July 9th. Our Summer Holiness Conference will be held on Friday, July 14th through Sunday, July 16th. The topic is Restoration Inspires Change. On Friday, July 14th, our pastor session will begin at 4 o'clock. And then we'll also be having an evening service at 6 o'clock with Elder James Thornton III being our guest speaker. On Saturday, July 15th, the service will begin at 12 o'clock with Elder George Gore Jr. being our guest speaker. And the conference will conclude on Sunday, July 16th with Bishop Herman Dade Sr. being our guest speaker for the 11 o'clock service. On Saturday, July 22nd, Bishop Anderson will be the guest speaker for the United Church of God's Pastor Appreciation Service, and service will begin at 4 o'clock. We do have a fifth Sunday fellowship weekend with the United Church of God, which will be July 29th and 30th. There will not be service here at the Bible Church on Sunday, July 30th. On Thursday, July 6th, we pray birthday blessings for Brother Ricky Summers. Amen. May the Lord bless you on your special day and always. This will conclude our announcements. The Bible Church is a place where everyone is made to feel at home. Whether you're a saint of God or a guest, we thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. We ask you to govern yourselves. Praise God to the announcements. And again, we thank God for all of our visitors. And this morning that are here and those that are online after service visitors, if you will make your praise God way here to my right. Praise God, Pastor, would love to praise the Lord with you before you leave. Praise God. And at this time, we have a visitor, Elder Hell, that's with us on this morning. We're going to give him a few minutes, praise God, to come and greet the saints. After him, we have Bishop Dade from Redemption. Praise God, Lord, I have to give him, praise God, an opportunity. And his wife is here, Lord, Sister Dave, praise God, we're going to give them an opportunity. Let's receive them in that order, Elder Hale. Amen. Amen. We do say praise the Lord, everybody. We thank and praise, praise the Lord, Lord for, for allowing us to travel and to come. I'm coming in now. Uh, on behalf of a dear friend that is a friend of your pastor. And uh, we thank and praise the Lord, and uh, he has spoke very highly of, of your pastor. And we thank and praise the Lord that, uh, and the other mentor is his name, and we thank and praise the Lord that um, he, um, he and I have been very close friends for many, many years. And um, he, is, he invited me to come this way. I was uh, in a transition where I needed to uh, come and visit some other churches. But uh, I just thank and praise the Lord. I felt welcome when I came through the doors, and I uh, thank God. And uh, the Spirit of the Lord is, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. And so we feel welcome where the Spirit of the Lord is. And uh, we thank God for the love of the Word that's here. 
I've spoken with your pastor and everything like that, and I'm, I'm not expecting to even say anything. I was just coming to glean the, of the word and to enjoy the service. And thus far, I've been doing just that. Amen. So continue to pray for us, and we'll pray for you. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Amen. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. And yes. Uh, and here because the Lord touched us this morning to come see our family. Amen. Praise the Lord. In your time of bereavement, know that we are in prayer with you and support that the Lord bless you through this time. Uh, yes, I'm saved, filled with the Holy Ghost, but I got a heart. And that heart hurts sometimes. Am I talking to anybody? Yeah. We're still here. We're still conscious. And when we lose a loved one, yes, they say we know that they're in the presence of the Lord, but it hurt. And I'm here to let you know that I hurt with you. God bless you in Jesus' name, and thank you for this opportunity. Praise God for those remarks coming from, praise God, the elder and bishop on this morning. At this time, we're going to have another selection from our choir. And after the choir, the next voice you'll hear will be that of our pastor, Bishop Isaiah Anderson. Let's receive it in that order, in Jesus' name.
blood still works. It still works. I heard somebody say that it reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows to the Lord's valley. Hallelujah. The blood that Jesus shed. We will never, ever, ever lose its power. It still works. Hallelujah to God. Praise God. Amen. So we just thank and praise God. Amen. For all things. We want to thank and praise God. Amen. For, amen, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the first, the last, the almighty God. Beside him, there is no Savior. He's the one true God. That's it. That's why Revelation 1 and 8 call him. Amen. He is the Alpha. He's the Omega. He's the Almighty. Amen. The Almighty. Call him Almighty. You can only have one Almighty. That's it. One. Praise the Almighty. You can't have two Almighty. Praise God. So we just thank God. Amen. For all things. We do honor him. Amen. We want to thank and praise God for. Amen. I thank and praise God for my wife. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank and praise God for her. Amen. We want to thank and praise God. Amen. For being surprised. Amen. By Bishop Dade and Mother Dade. Praise God. Thank and praise God for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the Redemption Deliverance family. Amen. So we just thank and praise God also for Elder Hale. Amen. We thank and praise God for him. Amen. On today. Amen. And Ella Palmer, we thank and praise God for him. Yes. Along with Minister Scott, yes. Ella Furtick, in his absence, we want to thank God for him. Amen. Just continue to pray for their, the family in the time of uh, their bereavement. Amen. We thank and praise God. We all got to go that way one day. Unless the rapture come first. We all got to die. People, you know, just walking around here like they're going to live forever. You're not living forever. Praise God. So we just thank and praise God, amen, for, amen, Ella Furtick along with his wife. We want to thank and praise God also for Deacon Furtick, amen, and we thank God, amen, just remember him in the prayer. He looked much better when I saw him the other day. He was much better, so I thank and praise God that prayer works. Amen. We want to thank and praise God for Mother Moses over the women's department and all her coworkers. Thank God for all the mothers in the house on today. We thank God for you. Amen. We want to also thank and praise God for Mother Washington over the usher board and all of her co-workers. Amen. So we are about to go into the word of the Lord. Amen. Knowing that heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Praise God. If you're going to stand on anything, you better make sure you're standing on the word of God. Everything else is going down. All these tradition stuff and all this other stuff, fast and, and all these things that comes and goes. Amen. Even nations coming down. Kingdoms coming down. The thing that you better stand on is the word of God because that is eternal. Praise the name of our God. It came from everlasting. Praise the name of our God. That's what you need to be standing on is the word of God. Hallelujah. We thank and praise God for all of our guests on this morning. Amen. Seems, amen. Our, amen. Our friend from up north, we thank and praise God for our sister. Amen. And, um, Deacon is... You bumico. Okay. I was going to just say Deacon you. <laughs> amen. It's sister you. Amen. Amen. So we just thank and praise God. Amen. For seeing them. In, amen, Columbia, South Carolina. Amen. amen. She grew up in the Bible church and she went up north. So we just thank and praise God, amen, for her. That is the sister of, amen, Alberta Johnson. Day. We thank and praise God. Amen. We thank you. Love to see that smiling face. She's always smiling. Amen. So Bella May, she's always smiling. So we thank and praise God for all of the people of God. Amen. We want to thank and praise God. Amen. For all of the saints of the Most High God. Amen. Brother Ori stopping by this morning. We thank and praise God for him. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're about to go into the word of the Lord knowing that this is uh, we kind of on a tight schedule on today. But nevertheless, the word of God must go forth as well as the Lord's Supper. Amen. Must go forth in the name of Jesus Christ. So we're not going to be before you long on today. Amen, because we got to come back at 3 o'clock, amen, at, amen, the celebration of life service for 
Amen. Mother Furtick. Amen. We'll be at 3 o'clock on today. And so we're about to go into the word of the Lord. Ask everyone to rest to their feet as we read our scripture. <clears throat> Amen. And so we go on to St. John, the 13th chapter, and the 34th and the 35th verse. We was going to keep it simple. Amen. John, the Lord laid upon our heart early this morning. Amen. This message. Son, John 13 and 34. And the reason this was. A new commandment I give unto you. That ye love one another. As I have loved you. That ye also love one another. 35th verse. By this shall all men know. That ye are my disciples, if, if you have loved one to another. It did not say one for another. Because I can have something for you, but I don't have to give it to you. Praise God. But have love one to another. Except that you will bow your heads in the word of prayer. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we thank you right now, God. We ask that you will bless, Lord, thy God, as we minister your word unto your people, God. These are your people, God. Oh, God, this is your house. And, Lord, we thank you for all things, God. We ask that it will touch somebody, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Let every soul say amen. Amen, amen. again, John 13 and 34. And 35, and it reads, A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are mine disciples, if you have love one to another. Amen. And so we're going to leave a thought for you on today. Uh, the mark of a true disciple. Yeah. Amen. The mark of a true disciple. Yeah. Amen. You may be seated at this time. We thank and praise God for all things. Saints of God, we thank and praise God for the choir. Amen. On this morning. Amen. We thank God for you. Yeah. Praise the name of our God. Amen. So the mark of a true disciple. Yeah. Amen. So... A mark is, gonna, is, a, is, a, is a characteristic property or feature of somebody. Amen. That's what we're talking about. You will know that you are true disciples if you have love one to another. Praise God. Many of the so-called saints on today, they serve God according to feelings. Amen. It's not according to the spirit anymore. It's according to the feeling. What feeling that I have. If I feel okay, I come to service today. If I feel okay, I do this for you. If I feel okay, if I like you, I will do that for you. Praise the name of our God. Amen. But the word of God tells us that we must also, amen, feed our enemies. Amen. Praise God. Pray for those that despitefully use us. Amen. Give hallelujah drink to those that are thirsty. Even though they might be our enemies. Praise the name of our God. We got to have the true love of God. This thing got to come from the heart. And it got to come through the spirit of God. Praise the name of our God. Amen. Because that is the first thing when you start talking about the fruit of the spirit. Amen. The first thing is love. Hallelujah to God. That will let you know and that will validate that you do have the spirit of God because you have the love in you. And you can love under any condition. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Amen. We're going to ask Brother Albert to get for us 1 John, the third chapter, beginning at the 11th verse. And we're not going to be long. And saints of God, this thing got to be real. Amen. This thing got to be real. Praise God. Amen. I always say, just always tell the saints of God if somebody wants to leave this church, amen, still speak to them on the outside. Amen. amen. Still know how to praise the Lord with them. Amen. If we're not a, a congregation that if you kick my cat, I'll kick your dog. Praise God. It's not, amen, you know, go out there and render evil for evil. 
Praise the name of our God. This thing got to come from the heart. Amen. Because if you are a child of God, you're going to love like God loved. Praise the name of our God. I want to be like him. Amen. I want to be just like him. I want to love in any condition. Praise the name of our God. And I want to love what God loves. And I want to hate what God hates. Praise the name of our God. Because he is my father. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Amen. You know, and, um, we love those that love us. Amen. Somebody give me a pair of socks. For Christmas, I'm going to, you know, amen, or any kind of gift. We're going to exchange that thing. We're going to go out and get them something. What about, what about the person who didn't give you anything? Amen. Even though we don't go along with the Christmas stuff. Hallelujah to God. Amen. But in a way, saints of God, amen, do you love those that, who just love you? I'm asking a question. Do you love them that just love you? Look what Jesus Christ had to go through. Praise God. The word of God tells us that he was wounded for our transgression. Hallelujah. He was bruised for our iniquities. Amen. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his strife, we are healed. We are healed. Everything that he did, amen, he did it for us. Praise the name of our God. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. He gave his life for us. Praise the name of our God. The son of God came here and gave his life for you. Amen. Shouldn't you give your life for your brother? Amen. Sometimes people tell you, I'm only going to go so far and that's it. <laughs> that love is not coming from the Holy Ghost. That love is coming from a ghost, but it's not the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead and start from the 11th verse. 1 John, the third chapter, 11th verse. Amen. For this is the message. For this is the message. That ye have heard. From the beginning. When did he hear it? From the beginning. From the beginning. beginning. This is the message that we have heard from the beginning. Saints of God, we've been preaching this thing ever since I came to the Bible church back in 79. Actually came in 77. But joined in 79. We've been hearing this. Love one another. Amen. Amen. Love one another. Bishop Gilmore, love one another. He was L at the time. Love one another. And he would preach this message so much. And so one of the brothers say that, hey, why are you always preaching the same thing? He said, until you do what I ask you to do. Until the word asks you to do it. Love one another. Love. And we're still going on with love one another. Love one another. Amen. Put away the hate. Amen. Put away the prejudice. Put away the pride. Amen. And learn how to love your brothers and sisters. Even those that are outside of the church. You still got to love them because they're going to be won by the love. Praise the name of our God. Oh, but you say, I'm, I'm, I'm only going to go so far. That's it. Oh, you got the wrong spirit. You got the wrong spirit. You got to love just like Jesus loved. If we say we are a child of, of Jesus Christ, guess what? We got to be like him. We got to walk like him. We got to talk like him. We got to do like him. We got to live like him. Glory to God. You can't be a child of God and God going this way and you going the other way. Glory to God. You got to love like he loved. He laid down his life for us. Hallelujah. So we ought to lay down our life for one another. But we don't even want to take somebody out for dinner. We don't even want to take them any place. Oh, can I preach up in here? Go on, preach, Pastor. I want to see this church love like never before. Preaching the same thing over and over and over. The same thing. All I can do, I, I can just go home and record it and bring it back next Sunday and go home and record it and bring it back the next Sunday. Seems like if this is going into your head, something ought to get stuck up there. Plus, it's done been through your head so many times. Something ought to get stuck up there. Hallelujah to God. Praise God. We got to hold on to the word of God. We want, I want to be like him. I want to be transformed into his likeness. I want to be trans. I want to be able to communicate with God. Hallelujah to God. And he operate by love. Hallelujah to God. 
Oh, the mark of a true disciple. Amen. Amen. If you love, you're a disciple. If you don't, you're not. I don't care how long you've been in the church. You could have been in the church 55 years. It don't make any difference. You got to go by what the word says. Hallelujah. This is the message that ye have heard from the beginning. That we shall love one another. Love one another. That's the message. How many times do you send a message during the day and say, Sister, I love you? Or call them up, Sister, I love you. Sister, I'm praying for you. Sister, anything I can do for you. And you don't hope that they come back and say no. Sometimes we ask that question just to say something. I know how to get her now. I say, yes, I need something. You watch, the, watch the look on her face just change. Oh, wait, I, I, you know, I, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting something. I was expecting you to say no. Praise God. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning. John writing here that we heard from the beginning that we should love one another. That's right. Love one another. And I'm getting over to you. Amen. Amen. Don't want to be going through the same thing next week. That we should love one another. Praise God. Amen. In spite of what they say to you or what you do, what they do. That's when I should just get down on my knee and pray for them. I can solve many things through prayer. Hallelujah. If I say something, if they respond the wrong way, I can get down on my knees. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Later on, and I guarantee the eternal spirit, amen, it'll work it out for me. He's done it before for me on many occasions. Amen. Sometimes I didn't have to go to people and say, they, they come to me. Hallelujah to God. For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning. Hallelujah to God. That we should love one another. We should love one another. Not get on the phone and talk about one another. Praise the name of our God. Amen. And get on Facebook. Oh, they love to get on Facebook. And I can tell something going on with them by the message they send. Haters going to hate. That, way they, that message like that, haters going to hate. Instead of you sending out positive things, praise God. I send out scriptures and things like that. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give God the praise. God, you know, something like that. Amen. But we send these messages out, we know something going on. What's going on with Sister Sally today? She looked like she got an attitude problem. I look at her message on Facebook and it looked like she going through some things. I don't know who's saying anything to her. Uh -huh. Praise God. We got to love one another. Yeah. I've seen stuff, you know, what happened too, Bishop Day, when, amen, they, they, they getting together, they go out for a dinner for, to celebrate somebody's birthday or something like that. And somebody come back and say, I don't like that place. I'm not going. It's not for you. You go anyhow. Nobody care about what you like and what you don't like. It's not about you. It's about that person. I hear that sometimes. Oh, I'm not going. I don't like that place. Praise God. Where's your Holy Ghost? Amen. All right, keep going. 12th verse. Not going to be long, all right? Not as Cain. Not as Cain. Who was of that wicked one. Of that wicked one. And slew his brother. Amen. And slew his brother. Talking about Abel. Uh -huh. Abel had prepared. That's right. He prepared. And you got those. You got the spirit of Cain still operating in the church today. All right. The spirit of Cain. Somebody taking their time to worship God and praise God, but you're trying to cut them down. Yeah. See, a lot of times, you don't have to kill with a gun. You can kill with that lip, that pink thing in your mouth. Praise God. You don't have to kill with a gun. You can kill with the lip. 
Amen. That's why a lot of times I say I'm not going to debate my apostolic brother over the line and all this other stuff, throwing, going back and forth and things. That may make us look like we, don't, we have no idea what we're talking about. We're not even sure about what we're in. We're going back and forth. Hallelujah to God. Amen. And sue his brother. Got to get the spirit of Cain from out of the church. Hallelujah. Got to get that spirit from out of the church. The spirit of Cain. All right, go ahead. And wherefore slew him? Uh huh. Because his own works were evil, and his brothers righteous. Oh, people trying to live for the Lord, but you got folks trying to kill them. They trying to live for the Lord, and you putting pressure on them. And then as soon as they, they you know, they, you know, they, they, they reach the limit and they end up going someplace else. See, I, I, would, I knew it wasn't anything to them in the, from the start. Amen. Now that's Cain, All right. who was of the wicked one. Right. And he slew his brother. Why? Because, amen, his brother's work was righteous. His brother's work was righteous. When you have people, amen, in church that move and accelerate, getting deep into the things of God. Then all of a sudden you got the bucket brigade come along and try to dump what? Hey, you need to cool it down. Amen. They're not praising you. They're praising God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let them continue to give God praise. Let them continue to give God glory. I don't care if they want to do it 24 hours a day. Let them do it. Put up your water bucket. Stop trying to cool them off. Hallelujah. And you know, I said, sister, you know, a brother, you don't have to do all that. You don't have to do all that. You need to just cool down a little bit. Let them praise God. Hallelujah. Let them praise God. Let them praise Him with their tongues. Hallelujah. Let them praise Him with our hand claps. Hallelujah. They want to shout on side of the road. Let them shout on side of the road. Praise God. Because, amen. You doing wicked work and they doing good work, then all of a sudden you're trying to stop them. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to pull them into their, onto their level. Hallelujah to God. You got to love one another. You got to love God. Hallelujah. Ye are my disciples. If you have loved one to another. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Sometimes it's good for the saints to fellowship and get together. That's right. Amen. Good for y'all to get together so you can sit down and talk about different things. Hallelujah. Good for you to get together and talk about the goodness of the Lord. Praise God. All right, keep going. 13th verse. Marvel not, my brethren. Marvel not, my brethren. If the world Don't stand you. there wondering, my brethren. Uh-huh. Go ahead. If the world hate you. If the world hate you. 14th verse. Yes. We know that we have passed from death unto life. Amen. First of all, it's saying that 13 verses of marvel not, my brother, if the world hates you. You know, holiness, we say holiness, righteousness, and sanctification. Holiness, pure. Righteousness, which cometh from God. Sanctification, you set apart. You set apart. From something, and you set apart to something. You set apart from the world. Marvel not that the world hates you. The world gonna hate you. Praise God. The world gonna hate you. Amen. Sister came to me and told me. She said, um, she said, I'm praying for you because the Lord showed that um, because of your doctrine, people are gonna come against you. Oh, I want to say too late now. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Already came. Pray, but, but that's going to happen when you start, you know, um, teaching and preaching truth. The enemy going to come up. They're going to come. And sometimes they tell you, y'all, old, they call us old fashioned. <laughs> they say, y'all old fashioned. Praise God. They say all kinds of other things. Amen. But we got to continue to press on. Because the world, there needs to be separation between the world and the church. 
There should be separation, amen, between the world and the church. The world do not like you. They hate you. They hate the work that you're doing. Praise the Lord. They hate you. We shouldn't try to run with them. Amen. But we're trying to bring a lot of stuff out of the, the world into the church. Amen. Ephesians 5 and 27 say you want a church without what? Spot or wrinkle. Or any such thing. Praise God. He want a church without spot or wrinkle. He don't want a church that messed up with the world. Just like in my house. Amen. If mud come into the house, I know somebody brought it in there. Praise God. Somebody brought some mud in the house. And the same thing that happened in the church. All these spirits coming into the church. Somebody bringing them in. Somebody welcoming the spirit. Hallelujah to God. You got spirits of mud on you. You got to get that stuff off of you. What fellowship has light with darkness? Holy God. What fellowship has light with darkness? Amen. You ought to be holy and you ought to be glad that you're holy. Don't let nobody talk you out of your holiness experience. Praise God. Because what's going to happen is going to weaken your faith. When you start dabbling around with the world, the next thing you know, you don't lost some faith. That faith is gone. It, 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 it's willing away. Praise God. All right, keep going. 14th verse. Yes. We know that we have passed from death unto life. All right, why? Because we love the brethren. We know we have passed from death unto life. Because the reason being we love the brethren. We got to have the love. We were talking about that this morning. No. Ellie Hale and myself. Praise God. Talking about that love. Amen. That we have for the brethren. You got to have hallelujah to God because we love the brethren. We pass from death unto life. Amen. Why in the world I can come in service and speak in tongues for 20 minutes? Holla, ba, 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 ba. <laughs> and then I can't even speak to my sister. Yeah. Something wrong with that? Praise God. I can come in church and I can run and shout all over the place. But I can't even shake your hand. Glory to God, if I see you coming that way, I, I, I'm going to duck and go that way because I don't want to shake your hand. Oh, what kind of love is that? Uh, something wrong with that. Hallelujah to God. you got to have true love. The love of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to God. you got to have that love that's going to bring people together. you got to have that love, hallelujah, that's going to bring peace. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. He that... All right, keep going. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. If you don't love your brother, and I'm a broad-minded to your sister, praise the name of our God, amen, you abide in death. That's right. You are a walking dead person. Hallelujah to God. That's right, a dead man walking. Hallelujah to God. Why? Because you do not love your brother. You do not love your sister. Well, I had enough of so and so. <laughs> what did Jesus Christ that say? I had enough of you. And I'm not going to the cross. I had enough of these people. These hard-headed, stiff-necked folks. <laughs> What if he said, I had enough of you? That's it. I'm going to get off of this cross because I had enough of those people. But he said, he, st he stayed there. Praise the name of our God. All right, keep going. 15th verse. Yes. Whosoever hated his brother, whosoever hated his brother, is a murderer. You murderer. Anybody, you go around here killing folks. Murderer. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. And it's a, it, it's a murderer. You continue to do it too. Praise God. All right. 
And he know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. See, you can cut yourself off from the kingdom of God. Praise God. Have, you don't have eternal life abiding in you. So what you have to do to get it right, you have to repent. Hallelujah. You get it right with God. Hallelujah. Keep going. 16th verse. Yes. Hereby perceive we love the God. We love of God. Uh-huh. Because he laid down his life for us. See, he laid down his life for us. Amen. He laid down his life for us. Yes. Saints of God. Amen. He laid down his life for us. Amen. 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 Here go God. Done laid, he, he laid down his life. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, laid down his life for us. And we can't even come to the service of the Lord and lift our hand and say, Lord, I thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah. We got an elder. Um, how, long, how far you travel? I went 30 minutes. I went 30 minutes. He said, I'm willing to work with y'all wherever way I can find out. Any way he can. He said, hour and 30 minutes is not nothing for him. Praise God. I hope all of us can get that in our mind, especially those, those of you online that stay right around the corner. Amen. Stay right around the corner. You can throw a rock and hit the church and still wouldn't come. Lord have mercy. But oh, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Praise God. Uh -huh. Amen. You got to mean what you say, and you got to say what you mean. Amen. Praise God. And this thing is not just about talk. People, even the spiritual minded folk, they see your, your, your conversation. They see your speak, but now they're trying to figure out, I don't see that other part what he's talking about, or what she's talking about. They don't see that part because guess what? Your action is going to speak much louder than your words. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey, man, if, if we alive, sometimes I call people and say, will we see you on Sunday? Oh, yeah, I'll be there on Sunday. Yeah. I'll be there on Sunday. I, stopped, I told the saints I stopped calling because I got tired of lying. Yeah. Just making them lie, that's all. I'll be there on Sunday. Don't you know you're bringing judgment on yourself? Wonder why you can't get from out of that rut? Wonder why you can't get from out of that stronghold? Praise God. Hallelujah to God. I stopped calling and asking. I stopped, I stopped asking. Just call and say, how, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Okay then, good. Don't ask him. You coming to church? Oh yeah, yeah, I'll be there on Sunday. I'll be there? Okay. Where they at now? Praise God. That way, that way you got to have faithful men. Amen. Praise God. That way I tell the elders and all, I say, if one of y'all missed service, guess what? Now we got to adapt, improvise, adapt, and overcome. You got to stay to your word. You got to be committed to your word. Amen. If you're going to give a word, you, st you be committed to that word. Otherwise, you need to repent. Amen. Just like we got a sign out there that says service start at 11 o'clock. If service start at 11.05, we lied. And we need to repent. We should start out the service saying, congregation, I lied to you today. We lied to you because we say we're going to start at 11 o'clock and it's 11.05 now. You got to commit to your word. Amen. You got to be committed. Hallelujah to God. Keep going. We're almost through. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. And we ought to lay... Oh, wait a minute. That, that, what, what did it say now? Read that again. And we ought to... We, we got some of those things to clean the glasses with. I got it. Uh, they clean. They clean. All right. I'm reading it right. right. All right. All right. Go ahead. Read, read it. And we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Y'all see what it say? You can't argue with that. That's why we come directly from scripture. It said we ought to lay down our life, lives. Plural. 
lives for the brethren. All right, one more verse and we'll cut off. 17th verse. Yes. But whoso have this world's good and sees his brother in, have need, he shed up his bowels of compassion from him. How Praise God. Is the love of God in him. Amen. Amen. Whosoever hath this world good and see his brother in need. I had to work for this. They had to work just like I work. You remember the grace that came to you? Hallelujah. Don't you remember the grace that came to you? Praise God. Don't you remember the favor that God showed you? Hallelujah to God. When God gave to us, Amen. He expecting us to give to somebody else to share this thing. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. I had to work for this thing. Then they'll send you to the state. Go see the unemployment place. They didn't ask the unemployment place. They asked you. Yeah. Hallelujah to God. Shut it up his bowel of compassion. How dwell the love of God in him? Oh, yeah, they'll fly all over the church, bouncing from wall to wall, and I need, can you, can you give me $20? Um, oh, no, I can't, can't help you there. And then if they give them $20, they come back to testimony service. I thank and praise God so and so. I was able to give her $20. $20. Oh, glory be to God. They got to put God's name in there. Glory be to God. To God be the glory. You got your reward. You got it. Amen. That's just between you and that person. It should only be between the two of you. Just like when I, hallelujah to God, just like when I fast, it should be between me and God. Not to come back and advertise to the whole church. You know, I'm so spiritual. I prayed three hours yesterday. Amen. I'm so anointed. I couldn't stop speaking in tongues. All right, just one more verse. 18th verse. Yes. My little children. My little children. Little Bible little. church, Bible church. All right. My little children, let us not love in word. Let us not love in word. Neither in, in tongue. Neither in tongue. But in deed and in truth. Yeah. Read that one more time. You don't wipe no glasses off, no, right? Sir. No, All right. sir. It's still clean. <laughs> All, right. All right. One more time. My little children. All right. Let us not love in word. Let us not love in word. Neither in Just tongue. Just coming from this old mouth. Oh, I love you, sister. I love you. I love you. I love you. Amen. In word. All right. Neither in neither tongue. Neither in deed. Neither in tongue. Yes. But in deed and in, in deed truth. And in truth. Amen. So we just thank and praise God. Amen for all things. Hallelujah. Thanks to God. Let's be real in this thing. Let's be real. We've been preaching love for, I not know before I got here. I got here in 79 and this started in 77. So I'm quite sure plenty of went back in 70, from 77 up to today. Amen. It's such an easy thing to do when you put your mind to it. So we thank and praise God for all things. Amen. Ask everyone to rest of their feet at this time. Will there be one for water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of their sins and the promises that you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. We know we got plenty of things going on today, but we got time. Always have time for that soul. Praise God. Amen. Would there be one? Hallelujah. Amen. So we just thank God for all things. Amen. And so we're about to go into the communion part of, of our service. Amen. And so we, those that will not be partaking in the communion, amen, you make you feel free to, to leave at this time, those who are not taking part in it. Um, it is for the baptized believers in Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we're about to...